um, even for like forward air strings, right? The stuff you don't want to deal with in doubles. When you um, think of a, a more negative term for pancake, like, like sewer lid or something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> more flat, I don't, flat I don't, circular. I don't, think you, I don't think you want the synonyms on stream today. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, and Ami. Oh my God, Ami. Yo, did he die? 60, okay. <laughs> Sixty-four <laughs> in ten <laughs> seconds. Yo, what happened? That was like immediately back oh. throw into. Oh my God. Okay, so. Um, yeah, Solcer, uh I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, but 95% still still, um, still living, though, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it does take the Squirtle off deck for this first stock a mm -hmm. bit, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, 100%. And, and that's going to be really vital to deal with DK. Mm -hmm. And did that, that Donkey Punch clank with uh, Lucina forward tilt? That was really weird. Definitely threw it out. Okay. Ooh. Oh, almost. I think Barely. Stretch DI'd up right there. I think that was really smart stuff from Stretch. To yeah. Make that little, uh, less comboable. Something interesting, DK's fair seems really strong in doubles uh, mm. because it hits above and below him and in front of him. It can just like, you can throw it out and it's very likely it can combo off a throw. And finally being able to take Solcer's stock right there, only 57% on Joe Pone. And honestly, 84 is also very low for DK considering his weight. Yeah, and, and even if DK, you can throw out the 40, even if it doesn't spike, you're still getting hit. And what was that? Hello? <laughs> uh, that was. The, that was the disgusting, the most disgusting knockback. soccer album. I don't know. <laughs> the knockback of DK's F tilt, in addition to the spike, changed the angle to send <laughs> absolutely to the depths of hell. The bottom corner. That was a dead stretch. This is a great start for Team Joe Pone. Yeah, the man. man. Yeah, I just felt like that blitz in the beginning just kind of set the tone. Oh. And just like you said, that forward air, man. No. Oh, oh, okay. oh I was going to spike again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. This is this is rough right now. They need to they need to fight back. <laughs> Guys, fight back. And it's interesting how they use the up B as like a combo tool. Um, uh, Dan the man. Mm. It's pretty good, honestly, because it just keeps them away from everyone for so long. It's hard mm. to contest them when they're that deep off stage. And Solcer taking the stock with the up B out of shield. Um, and the fourth one taking the stock, man. And uh, just stopping the bleeding just a little bit, right? I feel like... And they could just take one of these characters' stocks before Stretch loses the stock. You had a chance, you know? But, um, That's a big if, though, saying that 0%, right? Or, um, virtually 0%. And that's a yeah. dead stretch. And that, and that was crazy, because that came off of um, the down air splash and just Dan the man's uh, situational awareness, you know? Yeah, when you're at that much less percent, you're going to be able to enact out, or not, uh, react, act, not enact, <laughs> act out of a hit so much faster. Okay, that was actually saved in that uh, Pikachu Thunder. That... That was crazy by Joe Pond. Throwing out the forward air, and that's a multi-hit move and clashing with the up B to semi-spike him is like, that. that's like next level stuff. And this is really, really like, considering how on point their team combos are, this is pretty much impossible. So I feel like one singular oh, I thought, hit. Please don't go for down air. <laughs> I was like. Oh, I expect it. Definitely uh, good stuff. High flare, flare blitzing right there. That's kind of the only way you're going to make it back. Yeah, not going for the forward throw there because that puts you in too much of a vulnerable position. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. So right now, he really, he can't grab air or anything right now because if he grabs, it's going to be too much of a vulnerable position. And yeah, taking that stock with the back air. Um, and woof. Yeah, I mean that's just that's just steamrolling right there. When you start the game with like a seventy, like a ninety percent combo, and are so on point with your kill confirms, I feel like uh, I feel like um, Soul, um, Soulser and Stretch are gonna have to stop DK from letting himself get in these spots where he can combo off Pikachu so well. I mean, he just kind of let DK float off stage, wait for Pikachu to back throw, then fair them at like literally fifty percent. It seems like um, they're letting they're letting Dan the Man kind of position himself too well. I think more pressure on Dan the Man would go a long way. Yeah, and, and you know what? Also, um, Joe Pond's doing a really good job of setting up that wall, right? Uh, so many times that he actually just stood there and just put out Pikachu's jab and just deterred whatever was happening from the, um, the opposing opponents, right? And um, then then you see Dan the Man positioning himself off stage, like you said. And, uh, yeah, the rest is history. It's just, oof. Yeah, it's just that first stock, man. That was 
you can't run into that. Yeah. <laughs> you can't run into Pikachu's back throw like that. Right? No, you cannot. I mean, you just gotta kind of try to bounce back and shake shake that off because when you just have such a bad start, it's really tough to win. I would say if you are hyped for those combos, all like 20 of them, type an X play match arena. We just got we just got one right there, so let's get this higher. Guys, I, in the in the past two sets when we talked about match arena, we've only seen a dollar thirty in the match arena. I know you gremlins are lurking in chat. All you have to do is type in exclamation point match arena, and I guarantee you it'll make everybody's lives better. Including Joe Pone and uh, Dan the Man, who are yeah. slotted to just get a quick 2-0 right now with how they're playing. Let's see if they can switch things up. I like small battlefield. I like giving them less space, for sure. And immediately, you already saw Stretch. You already saw Stretch and Solstar on the other side of the stage, just like not even interacting. And let's see if Joe Pone, oh, oh, let's see if Joe Pone and Dan the Man can kind of smell that fear, you know, like realize they're scared and kind of put more pressure on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you know what's happening? Dan the Man's kind of just like turtling in the corner. Oh, yeah. My. Dan the Man's just turtling in the corner, and it's just like it's yeah, tough because Pikachu's just throwing out back air and forward and just keeping all everybody else preoccupied and just staying there shielding. Uh, it is such <laughs> it is such a great strategy right now. Dan the Man literally just like. Double jumping, then going back to yeah. ledge and waiting for Joe Pone to and, finally and, get a grab. And now resetting to the other ledge. Yeah, this is, <laughs> like, this is actually funny. A very good strategy. I mean, look at that. Even though Joe Pone and Dan the Man definitely like players who haven't had that much singles results relative to Stretch and Solster. But I mean, their synergy is just kind of totally stomping them. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, he. Joe Pone, I mean, excuse me, Dan the Man has not moved from under that. A small battlefield platform since he's gotten thrown there. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little hut. You might need to come out of the hole because uh, that is a big get up attack. Yes. Yep. That F throw sending pretty much nowhere. DK. Yeah, man. Uh, and Charizard was at a hundred percent. I mean, they literally have just been all in the quarter of <laughs> all of them that were just... And he, did, and he just goes to the other side. That This, this is... This is... I... Oof. Have they been noticed the whole time? I just haven't been noticed. Yeah, I, I, really, I really think so. Yeah, they been doing all that. I, I think they've just only gotten better and better at it mm -hmm. as the tournament's gone on. And now it seems yeah. so clear, their strategy. Um, and, and I feel like what you... I feel like, you know, if you're Solcer or Stretch... Solcer especially, right? Like, while Solcer takes that stock... But maybe just throw a couple of razor leaves out there, right? Just like check the temperature. And don't just go rushing in. Cause I feel like what's happening is they're all they're both rushing in, just trying to hit DK, and they're not getting stocks. And then they're just getting you're getting blended. So yeah. I feel like maybe just take a more like a slower approach to it and just look at it from the outside in. Cause right now they're just running in and getting smoked. 100. percent I definitely think razor leaves go a long way just because the shield like wall of Pikachu is less important when Razor Leaf goes past shield, so mm -hmm. it, could, it could be really nice if it's well placed, but I just... Yeah. Oh, was, oh no, missing the tech. But yo, it does not matter. Look Pikachu, at that. Pikachu is a menace, man. That was, and that was great just awareness by Joe Pone. And he, oh! and he still saved him! <laughs> Joe Pone is playing insane He's, right now. He, he is just not missing anything. Yo. He saved... He saved... Dan the man twice while taking Stretch's stock, and now is edge guarding Solcer. That was, that was rough. Hello? Yeah, <laughs> that that was some of the best doubles I've seen all day. Like that, they were just perfect in how they played Yo. off each other. The I could see them winning um, against uh, what you mean call against uh, Suarez and PK. Chris, yeah, the way we, they were playing right there. Run back that sequence where like where. Uh, oh my god, where Joe Pond just kind of took over the set? Like, that was kind of crazy, man. Um, Are they going to fist bump? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, this is nonsense. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got to be frustrating. I mean, just dying at literally like 50% to just because you got Pikachu Baird, the best move in the game, like, it's, it's no, rough. You, no, it's, it's crazy, because you got Pikachu Baird into DK Bear, like, and, and Pikachu DK back Fair. throw into oh DK Fair. Like, that's crazy, man. 
Yeah, if you're if you're hyped for this run right now, because honestly they're playing hot. I can see that. I know they like got two would by Nixie and uh, MGW, but I feel like they leave kind of awake in a bit. Mm -hmm. I can see them doing much better. So if you're hyped for the Joe Pwn, Dan the Man run, type in X play Macharino, help them get some money for this. Hey, oh, I say I see two dollars and eighty cents. Okay, some yeah, to yeah, some people okay. are starting to wake up a bit. Let's let's get this okay, up. You know what time is it? It's 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 about four fourteen p.m. I feel like all the gamers are waking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You know, on Saturday night. Hey, look, uh, I'm a working man too. I, if I wasn't here, I'd definitely probably be in my bed too. So I understand. <laughs>